channel so today well we're finally done with the nursery so we're gonna be doing like a little nursery tour and showing like how we organize the baby's room sorry for the lighting it kind of looks funky there's no not natural light right now because it's dark outside there's no natural yeah, light so we're dark using outside. that light right there okay, um 38 weeks and two days so baby boy could get here any day huh? you yeah. know so we're just waiting on him Whenever he's ready, but he seems pretty comfortable in here. Get my, my stretch marks. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not bad at all. It's not that bad. It could be worse. <laughs> Here's the changing table. Um, we went with like just the big dresser from Ikea. So these are little toys from Amazon, like little like plastic like safari toys. And I just had Sal spray paint them gold. So yeah, these are pretty much working as our doorknobs and they're, they work pretty good. So yeah, if you want to do this. And these are little like safari animal like picture frames. They're a little crooked. Sal so didn't measure them. Hey, you just gotta go like this. <laughs> They go up. <laughs> oh, if I freaking put the leveler on them and everything. And it was like know. straight. No, these aren't straight. Look at, she's blaming me. Okay, but I don't think it's making it that crooked. Look at the elephant. Dude, look at how crooked they are. Oh yeah, they are crooked. Okay, well that's why the picture frames are crooked. Yeah, because I measured everything right. That's a slick one though. I ordered the pictures from um, Etsy and then the canvas. I ordered them from this website called like Canvas Prints or something. Then I just put like a little gold mirror right here so I can look at. See the mirror straight. <laughs> it's a circle. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I put this little gold mirror there so me and him can look at ourselves after diaper changes. So we went this one because we didn't want one with like a traditional like mattress and then you have to put like a fitted sheet on it like a mattress oh, mattress cover a changing pad cover so this one it had really good reviews they say you just like wipe it clean so if the baby like poops on it or pees on it or throws up on it whatever you just wipe it up so that's why i went with this one so right here we have some butt paste for the baby and we have this spatula. I thought this was kind of dumb when I had seen it before, but a lot of people were saying that this was one of their must-haves. Um, I guess this stuff is really sticky, and you probably get sick of like having to wipe it off your hands all the time. So I put that right there. And then we have his wipes right here. Um, I originally had one with like a wipe. Well, I originally had a wipe warmer on our registry, but then I switched it out to this one. Um, just cause I heard that wipe warmers, they like dry out the wipes and your baby doesn't really need like his wipes to be warmed up. Especially if it's like 120 degrees. Yeah, it's super hot here, but I'm sure he'll, st I, I feel like they're going to cry either way with diaper changes. So I got this one and then plus I have no cords or anything since this is going to be going mounted to the wall. And this one, I haven't opened the wipes yet, but once he's here open on and then this is like weighted so it helps just pull out one wipe at a time so that will go there <sighs> i'm out of breath then in here we have his pacifiers so we got a lot of different ones for our baby shower and yeah i kind of just like left them all there then right here um 
his like little pacifier clips. Um, I thought it'd just be like easy to pick one out with an outfit if they're all displayed right here. I still have a few more that are coming in through the mail that I'm waiting on. This is actually for pacifiers. Also, you just like, it's kind of like that one, the Wobunub or whatever, that has like the little animal. Uh -huh. So this one you can attach any, this is from Ryan and Rose and you can attach any pacifier onto here. And I guess they like this, like a little security. So right over here we have his diaper pail so once i'm doing his changes it'll be really easy to just throw the diapers in here the dirty diapers in this first drawer i pretty much just put um his all of his like burp cloths right here i think this should be enough if not oh or more on amazon and these inserts came from ikea and then they like fit this dresser really well so his burp cloths, his little socks, and his little mittens are right here. So that's how I've organized that. Then in this drawer, which I thought was really convenient, is I put his little diapers right here. Look how cute they are. He's so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> so when I'm going to do a diaper change, I just open this, put it right here, have his diaper ready to go. I've seen people like have the diapers up here, but... I feel like it looks a little too cluttered, like for my liking. So I put them here and then we could just be refilling them. And I have his bath towels right here. So I just threw that in there. This drawer right here, we have his um, washcloth. These are super soft. They're from Amazon. I got these at my baby shower from my registry. And I just have a few like random things in here, like sunblock, um, this like booger tool and then like Frida vapor wipes and then like the nose Frida so I just put all of that stuff in here then in this next drawer I put his like um all of his shampoos and conditioners ordered this back in December and then it came in the mail and I really did not like the scent, the scent but he's going to use it anyway because I bought it. And my cousin actually sent me this one and this one smells really good. But my favorite is this one, the Johnson & Johnson um, Cotton Touch. This one smells really good, so that was my favorite and I put that on my registry. Then in here we have this. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use these for but I just stuck them in here. Someone gave these to me. And then a little brush for cradle cap. And then I'm a little scared to cut his nails with like a nail clipper. So I got this a nail filer to file his nails. And then in here we have like a little wooden like brush set for him. So moving on to the next drawer. This is all of his like newborn stuff. So these are newborn pajamas, newborn pajamas. Um, these two are like those knot ones and these are all newborn sizes and then these are the only <laughs> newborn onesies that he has. I'm hoping it's enough. If not, I'm just going to jump them to the 0 to 3. I don't want to buy too much newborn stuff just because I don't know how. how I feel like less. <laughs> yeah, I heard like they go through that super fast and then if you have a bigger baby, well, they're going to grow out of it really fast. Then this is all of his zero to three months. So let me show how I kind of organize all of this. So I fit a lot in here. I actually watched a video on YouTube, like a tutorial on how to fold this stuff so you can see each one. Um, so yeah, these are all pajamas, pajamas. And then in these two, these are just uh, onesies. These are all just plain white. And then these have prints on them. I did new one in here, then zero to three. Then down here, um, these are all like just like pajamas that are like really big. They're not gonna fit him yet. Like this is size like three to six. So I just threw it in here till he like grows into it. Then I have extra newborn diapers. So once this is empty, then I'll just go ahead and refill this. And then I have like an extra sheet for like his bassinet. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. 
Then in this drawer, we have his um, blankets. Like these are all thick right here. Like his like thicker blankets. I love avocados. And then in this row right here, we have like the Muslim swaddles. And look how cute this is. Did you ever see this stuff? What is it? Yeah. yeah. I ordered it from like, you know, on Instagram when you get like those um, <laughs> ads for babies that always end up buying stuff. And then we have like the zipper ones. So like supposed to be easier to swaddle so we'll try both see what we like then in here I just have like some samples um, like stuff that we got I ordered this one and uh, yeah just samples in here I mean I'm gonna use all of these and then this is nice like when we travel we can just pack this stuff right here so yeah that's pretty much it for his Dresser. Oh, and then we have like his little hamper right there. His little outfit. Yeah, and someone gifted that to us for a baby shower, which was nice and it really like fit the theme of the room. We hadn't purchased one yet, so that was really nice. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Okay, so over here we have um, his little rocking chair. And I just put like, I ordered this little pillow on Etsy with like a little A for his name. And I just kept like a little blanket right here for him. Um, and these are fake plants right here. And the little plant holder I ordered from this girl that I went to high school with. She makes these, so I ordered those from her. So I have one over here and one over there. And they really like tie the room in together. Really good matches. Then, so this nightstand, I stole it from the guest room across the hallway. Um, I was looking for a smaller one for him, but we haven't found one that we like, so I might just keep this one and maybe just like switch out the knobs. In here, I just threw in like the breast, like the pieces to like the breast knob. I haven't washed any of this stuff yet. Then I kept like some little like, um, what are these called? Like nursing pads. So I threw those in there. This I got at Pottery Board when we purchased the chair and the carpet. So it has a little elephant and it really like matched the room. So I just put my breast pump right here and then I have his little monitor right here. And there's yeah. his camera up there. What camera do we in the room? Vava or something. I'll link all that big stuff and yeah, I can't wait to have him here, rocking him. So yeah, we love our chair and we got a super good deal on it. What kind of good deal? Like more than 50% off. I think it was 60% off. Yeah, it was like 60% off. Because they went out of business in Yeah, Las so Vegas. they were closing down all of the Pottery Barn Kids stores. They're only leaving two open, I think. Yeah, like two. I think one in LA and I'm not sure where they're like leaving the other one open. But the whole store was 40% off and in the chair we actually ended up getting like 60 or 70% off. So it was a super good deal. I would never pay full price for that chair. At least I don't know I would. It's no. <laughs> too pricey. And these little gold animals right here. I bought these at Walmart for a dollar each one. And I just had to sell spray paint and gold. The same gold that we use for the doorknobs. Then down here, my cousin gave us this little lion, so I put that there. Then this is like one of those like little letter boards. And this little elephant is from our baby shower that I like kept. Still smells like sugar. <laughs> what is sugar? It was, it was on, on top there. of the cake. Yeah, it was on top. It was like a little like, cake topper. So hopefully this doesn't like bring in ants. But if it does, I'll just throw it away. Both cute right there. Or I'll eat it. <laughs> and then we have like his books right here. We asked people to give him books instead of cards. So <laughs> we read this one last night to him and it made me cry. <laughs> I think my dog loves the books more than anybody. 
Yeah, they love when you stop reading. The, the little Pomerania comes and falls asleep with us. Yeah, she does. So yeah, we have all his books right here. And down in here, I have like some toys for him. Like a black and white book. Um, Like this one, we can put in the car. Like lights up and things. So, yeah, we have a few toys for him, and I don't even know what I have in here. Oh, I just have, like, random stuff. Oh, so I have, like, extra, um, like, dividers for the, for the drawers. Then I have, like, these, like, bottle wash scrubbers that, of course, we're not going to need yet. Then I have, like, this little... Matt for tummy time. I can't wait to use this. You put water in it? Yeah, you fill it up with water and you place them on it. I can't wait to use that. And this, what is this? Oh, this goes to the changing table, but I felt like it was in the way. Yeah, like in the way, so I just took it out. It goes like this. I'll just show. You just snap it right here. And it goes like that, but I thought it was like too much and it blocked the mirror, so I just threw it in here. Okay, so here we a light. have. Huh? Oh, and then this is the light fixture we went with. We got this from IKEA. It doesn't give off too much light since it's just one single bowl. And then it's like covered. Which is nice though, because his room will always be like dimly lit, like not too bright for him. Then we have, so here we have his crib. Um, we bought this actually back in like October. <laughs> I think it was like one of like the biggest like baby purchases we made. And it was because Target was having a sale of like, I think the cribs were like 20% off. I don't know, it was like a really good deal though. So we bought it and we're like, oh, we didn't even know if we're having a boy or girl, but we're like, well, it goes for either gender. So we bought the crib there then this one is his little baby mobile we still need to put batteries in it so i could play music this would you get off of etsy yeah and then this is from pottery, pottery barn yeah this is from pottery barn then this um i'm gonna be taking this to the hospital i just have it in here for now if i don't forget it i should probably put it by the diaper bag then this is the outlet. I just have this in here. We still need to set it up. We'll probably just set that up the day he comes. And we went with this mattress right here. Um, it is a little pricey, I will say. It took me like a few months to purchase it. <laughs> I was like, do I buy it this month? No, I'll wait. <laughs> so I bought it like in March. Let them sell too, though, right? Yeah, and I waited till they had like a good sale. You could actually buy them from the site now, right? Yeah, so um, I waited till they had a good sale and they're always offering like $20 off your purchase or $25 off your purchase. Don't buy it then. Wait till they have 20% off. So I bought it when they had their, I bought it in March. So they're having a St. Patrick's Day sale for like a week or two weeks. So that's when I purchased it because then it was 20% off which was like 20 it was like 60 bucks off 70 bucks off instead of like 20 dollars or 25 dollars off which they offer all the time so don't buy it only when they're having that 20 percent off sale then you buy it. this one just because um it's supposed to be like the safest right now the baby so the, the baby can actually breathe through this so if they flip over and they like to sleep on their stomach or they just happen to roll over they can actually breathe through this and you do not use a fitted sheet with this this actually totally unzips and you can throw this in the wash then the actual like full mattress okay show me and then the actual full mattress you can actually like spray that down in the shower so if like they pee or have like a poop explosion and it like seeps through, you can actually wash the core of the mattress in your shower and let that air dry instead of like, you know, just like scrubbing the top or like a regular mattress. So yeah, that's why I went with this one. And plus it was like an investment, right? 
like I, I'm hoping he'll use this mattress so he's like four years old if not we can use it for like the next baby so yeah that's why we went with this one it's not the dogs will love it yeah the dogs will love <laughs> it and this is the new end mattress so if you want to sponsor me ha. <laughs> <laughs> all right what's next the swing yeah so here we have the swing um again this was on an ad on instagram <laughs> I can't get ads because then I buy all the stuff. So yeah, this is a swing right here. And it was actually kind of hard to put it in. Huh? If you have a popcorn ceiling, get a magnet. You have to get a strong magnet and run it through. And that's the only way I was able to find a beam. I know people say, oh, measure it the six inches, whatever. That uh, No, I did that. And then the stud finder gave me all these as false. Yeah, False and I did, I did with the cord, cardboard, everything like that, nothing. The magnet, so, first magnet. try. Magnet, first try. And why does the magnet work? Because of the, Cause the, the beams and the nails and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's how we found the beam. Because before, yeah, we made one, two, three, four, five, like ten holes. Ten that was only ceiling. six. Oh, one, two, three, It was only three, nine, four, Betty. Five, six, seven. <laughs> Nine holes. <laughs> I got irritated. I got irritated and went like this. I'm sure I did. <laughs> and I still don't find anything. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is a little swing for him. Um, we'll put the, we'll put him in this when he's like six months. If not, it's a cute decoration. <laughs> if not, my dog went in it and she loves it. Yeah, you put a Pomeranian in here. So then down here we have a little play gym for him. And you can, you know, we can like move this around everywhere. I've actually seen people, they place their, they place this in the crib. And like they're able to like, play with it like that. I don't know if that's safe. Yeah, but, it's a little sketch. <laughs> I mean, it's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah, I just put it here for now. And we could put him on this like right away. Just like lay him under here. Like these make noises. And there's some like crinkles. And this I ended up finding at TJ Maxx for like 15 bucks. And it went perfect. Yeah, they really matched. Um, they really match the room. So here we have his closet. Um, I actually ordered this from Amazon. I was gonna go with Ikea, but Ikea was more pricey. And we don't own this home. We rent this home, so. I mean, if this was my home and I owned it, then I would invest more money. But since this is a rental, I just ended up going with this one from Amazon. I think it came out like really nice. Yeah, they had like a, they had like a big shelf with the, you know, just like basic with like a big wooden rod. We ripped it that off. That was like too too big for like even hangers to fit on the rod like newborn then zero to three and i pretty much like hung up everything that's not like a onesie or a sleeper this is nice clothes yeah i can't wait to put this one on <laughs> when we go to um san diego san diego in the end of june so he'll wear this one so yeah newborn zero to three then like three to six up here then like six months, six to nine, and then like nine to 12. So pretty much one years old. Then up here, I don't have anything in here yet. Um, then this is, someone get, gifted this to me for my baby shower. So it comes with a little ink pad and you can get like their handprint and then their footprint. footprint you put their name and then their pictures so i thought that was really cute so we'll do that once he gets home um then in here we have like little hats <laughs> for him and little like beanies when we take them to the snow take little ears so yeah we have beanies in there then we have this little giraffe that i got off my registry i don't know why but they say like babies love this Try it. Because I guess like the texture. Try it. I'm going to chew on that. And then in here we have like his little beanies. Oh, the pop bites. They're so tiny, huh? Like, <laughs> I feel like these aren't even going to fit him. If he has yeah. a dome like me, then good luck. <laughs> yeah, his little beanies in there. 
Then here we have like some of his shoes. These are my favorite. What are your Nike foam posits or whatever? I don't even know what they are, but I think they're so cute. <laughs> and then we have some other shoes over here, which are like bigger. Then in here, I put like his little bibs. In here, yes, more back here. Then this is like a little, um, one of those like wraps that you tie them in. I get one point. Look at all this. I just slip out. You don't want to look at me, baby. No, nope, don't look at my son. Oh, you bought my teeth. He's too pretty for anybody to look at him. You might be able to get a peek. <laughs> Real quick. Then in here we have um, like little teethers, a little toothbrush, another little teether, an avocado. Then in here we have like little milestone cards. So one month, two months, I thought I was missing some <laughs> reference, three, four, and yeah, and so on. So I just stuck those in there. Then in here, we don't really have anything. Oh. Here's my pregnancy test. <laughs> then in here we have like just random stuff that he's not gonna need till later. And in here we just have like extra like bottle and bottle brushes, then like extra like butt paste, shampoos, stuff like that. And this one right here, we have just like stuff that he's not gonna be able to fit into later like these socks are huge that's his what is that gonna be oh that's his diaper bag so i just hung it right there and yeah that's pretty much it yeah it, i was gonna get doors for the closet but then i saw on pinterest a lot of people have like the baby's closets like this open so i'm just gonna keep it like that and then it'll also help me like keep it looking organized I feel like if it has doors, I'm gonna end up like just throwing stuff in there. <laughs> just like throwing stuff in there. And I'll look at so my like closet. this, it'll look. Yeah, it's gonna look like our other closets. <laughs> so like this, we have um, we have it looking organized. So yeah, and it's, it's easier to access everything without doors, and you can see everything you have in there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're looking to do like the same theme as us or something similar maybe you got some ideas or some motivation to start your nursery um just ask in the comments and we'll let you know yeah and i'll like link all the big stuff in the description um if you want to purchase any of the same items but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video or maybe you got some like nursery organization tips if i'm that good no <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.